Hey guys, what's up? Hey, I still am alive. I've just been a little busy with stuff recently. I haven't really had much time for making YouTube videos. Just been swamped with football, college visits, girlfriend. Can you guys believe that? I have a girlfriend. Crazy. I know, right? Anything can happen. Uh, anyways, uh, I built this. Call it the Fireman's Warhammer. Because yeah, it's got kind of that like red tip and everything. Kind of like a fire axe, you know? Anyway, I am super excited. I can't wait to test this one. Um, honestly, almost more excited than, the boot, than my machete. Anyways, let's show you guys how to build it. Alright, so what I've got here is some 3 quarter inch oak plywood and an axe handle. What I did was I set the axe handle down on the piece of wood and traced it out because that's going to be our handle for our weapon today. Um, and then I'm going to cut it out with my jigsaw and I'm going to just work on sanding it and trying to get it all nice and rounded. Um, that was nice and comfortable to hold. It would look cool too. Alright, if you notice your saw starts cutting a little slow, the blade might be a little dull, so you gotta change your blade every so often so you don't burn up your saw. Trust me, I've done that before. But, ah, it's hot. It's finger licking good. Uh, anyway, you might want to just change the blade. That way, it starts cutting faster again. All right. Now that we, now that we have our chair leg here, uh, you just take it. Um, this is probably a little too tall, so I'm gonna have to trim it down a little bit. Okay. But no, actually, I think it's pretty good. Um, just gonna have to do some rounding and stuff on the corners. Probably just gonna use sandpaper and wood rasp. That's it. Get it smooth and to where you can hold it comfortably because like that digs into your skin. That'd be dumb to use it like this. Just freaking dumb. Alright. Now after a couple minutes of tag team sanding with Gordon, it's pretty much good to go. Alright, what I've got here is I just took some boiled linseed oil, I, put, I pour some out on the rag and just rub it here on the wood, get the whole thing a nice thick coat on it, and it looks pretty sexy. Alright, so I found these two scrap back, uh, brackets in my pile. Um, they're about, uh, I think, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. Um, and like uh, it's about a three by three inch square head there and it had a hole in the middle. And um, this is too long, I think. So I'm going to cut them down to about eight inches right here. I'm just gonna chop them with my chop saw. Alright, so what I've got here was I chopped them both down to 8 inches long and I made a mark right in the middle of it, which is at 1.5 inches since it's 3 inches wide. And I'm going to go back to my chop saw and cut it at a 45 degree angle. Um, since I can only do it on one side, then I'm going to cut the other half with my angle grinder. If you don't have a chop saw, you can just do the whole thing on your angle grinder. It's basically the same thing, just the chop saw is quite a bit faster and easier, but chances are you don't have a chop saw, so use an angle grinder. Okay, so you see all the burrs that are left on it from being hot metal and kind of melts and pulls it down. Um, what I'm just going to do is take a file, clean it up, get it to look like this one before angle grinding the other angle onto it. Alright, so I've got my two pieces cut out with the spikes on the back. They're a little uneven, but that's alright because they're not touching. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put two bolts through here to secure it onto the handle. Put, put them right about here, but it's about halfway through the handle. Just put right in the middle of the handle to put them right here. What I'm going to do is drill through the metal, put it back on here. I'll make a mark on the wood, drill through the wood, and then drill through the other piece. Um, that way they all line up correctly. 
want to put the bolster. Alright, so I got some flat black spray paint here. You don't have to paint it flat black or whatever color you want. I'm just going to give these two a nice coat, flip them over, and paint them in. All right, so what I got right here is I took the two brackets, uh, stuck the bolts through and secured it on to the handle um, and put the nuts on there, got everything secured. Um, and I wrapped the handle with quite a bit of friction tape. Um, that way I get a better grip on it. Next thing I'm gonna do is put some bolts through these holes. That way it has like some extra striking surface so the PSI is a little higher and it's not just a flat striking surface. All right guys, well that's it for the build. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely enjoyed building this one. Huge shout out to the man behind the camera, Gordon Richmeyer, helping me out with this build. Um, uh, did a whole lot of stuff, helping me get the handle and everything ready and filming. Um, so big thanks to you. Yeah, pat yourself on the back. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be looking for some more. Um, football season's wrapping up. I'm, tr I'm gonna try to be able to get some more builds out here more consistently. Um, that way you guys aren't left hanging for three months at a time. Anyways, um, that's really it. Hit the like button if you like the build. Go ahead and share it with a friend maybe. Um, and subscribe if you already haven't. But hey, thanks everybody. I'm the Ace of Blades saying so long.